KDE Plasma is one of the most customizable desktop environments on Linux. But its vast amount of customization options and submenus can get confusing really fast. And you might even miss out on some cool stuff. In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of awesome features that I personally like to use in KDE Plasma. Let's start off with a basic thing, but something that many of you might like. Dynamic wallpapers. You know, like on Windows, where it automatically selects a different lock screen from time to time. You can find this functionality by first opening up the system settings, then scroll down to screen locking and click on configure. In this new appearance window, you can select a couple of different wallpaper types. The first two options are live wallpapers, meaning that they might be animated or consist of a whole collection of images. KD Plasma currently offers these two out of the box, but you can install more via the software store. Then there is of course static images, solid colors, slideshows and my personal favorite, picture of the day. You can choose from a list of different image providers, which each might have different preferences or original sources. I personally like the Bing collection most, as it's the most versatile in my opinion. After you've applied your changes, the images automatically load as soon as you lock your screen. And Plasma even remembers them until they get replaced by a new one. If your distro doesn't offer these options for some reason, then you might want to check if you have the KDE Plasma add-ons package installed. On most distros, you should be able to download them through your package manager. Next, let's talk about a feature that I personally strongly rely on, but a surprisingly big number of users don't even know about. The overview effect, which shows you all of your open windows as well as your virtual desktops. With the latest release, Plasma 6, you can also toggle the grid view via a shortcut, which makes managing everything just so much easier. The overview is enabled by default via a shortcut on your keyboard, but I like to extend its functionality by also binding it to the left upper corner. In the system settings under screen edges, you can configure a lot of features, ranging from opening your start menu to showing your desktop or simply just only the applications. There is also an interesting feature called Switch Desktop on the Edge, which essentially allows you to drag windows to one side of the screen and it automatically switches to another desktop. It's actually really useful, though it certainly depends on your workflow, as it makes docking windows much harder. Personally, I would really like to use it, but it's really off-throwing at first. One thing that I never really liked on GNOME was the way how they handle zooming on their desktop. You know, sometimes I share my screen with someone via Discord or Telegram, and depending on the device they currently use, my 1440p display sometimes causes visibility issues, as I generally like to use 100% as my scaling factor. GNOME does have a zooming feature available in their accessibility settings. However, it just toggles a zoom, whereas on Plasma I can do this. Whoa! That's right, with the keyboard combination Meta Control and then simply scrolling, I can dynamically zoom into the display. By default it follows the mouse cursor, which is pretty nice already. But if you want a more static approach, then you can head into the system settings, desktop effects, configure zoom and select a different mouse tracking option. Some may like it more to push the windows with their mouse, or maybe not track it at all. You can also change the scaling of the cursor, like if you want to keep its size while everything else becomes bigger, though sometimes there is a weird bug with double cursors if you do that. If you don't want to make your whole screen bigger, then you might also be interested into the magnifier effect, whereas you can simply press Meta Plus and you get a small window that zooms onto your mouse cursor. Once Plasma 6.1 releases and more deeply integrated shortcuts are configurable as well, you might also be able to bind it just in the same way like the zoom effect. But this remains to be seen. Let's move on to flat packs, because KDE Plasma has incredible support for them. Not only do they offer the ability to install FlatHub and Flatpak support from inside their software store on distros that don't ship with it by default, they also allow you to natively set custom permissions as well. On GNOME, if you need to give a Flatpak more access to your system due to its sandboxed nature, you either would need to do it with the terminal or by downloading an application called FlatSeal. It's really nice to see that KDE Plasma features setting Flatpak permissions right out of the box. Next. Let's talk about KWIN scripts. If you're missing some functionalities that are somewhat related to Windows or the desktop itself, then you can extend Plasma's capabilities with KWIN scripts. 
For example, better tiling, dynamically increasing virtual desktops, or only making them switch on one screen. You can find them under Window Management, Kwin Scripts, and there are already a couple ones to choose from. If nothing here is helpful to you, then you can install other ones by clicking on Get New. One word of caution though. Kwin Scripts are community maintained and could potentially hurt your system if a malicious actor releases some. Like the dilemma with global themes not that long ago, be careful what you install. Other than that, go nuts. Install whatever you want and don't forget to enable them. Depending on the script you've installed, you might need to log out or even reboot your system for them to work properly. And speaking of changing your system, let's talk about themes. Global themes are a complete collection of the individual options below, with the addition that they can also come with scripts to improve your experience. The naming is a bit confusing in my opinion, since they differ from the options below, as these cannot execute code apparently. If you are installing themes, then I recommend you to go through each category separately. But that's just as a side note. The real reason on why we are here is because I want to show you how you can remove old themes that you don't need anymore. As the delete button or the discover software store are not always helpful here. With a click on get new, similar like with the Kwin scripts, you get a list of available themes. Here you want to click on the button in the middle that says show only installed entries and you now get a view of all the themes you have installed in that category. I thought I should let you know. Oh, and another side note, if you go to application style and edit the breeze theme, you can also add arrows to scroll bars or adjust the transparency of some windows without any additional programs. Last but not least, I also want to show you a pretty awesome widget. Right click on your desktop or panel and go into edit mode. Then select add widgets, search for a global menu and pin it to the panel. Now at first it doesn't seem to do much, but let's open up a file browser and surprise, you essentially get all the features that are usually available at the top of the application right on your panel. Basically like on macOS. Depending on the program that is currently selected, it also switches the active context. And I honestly wish that I could use it, as it's really space efficient. However, it doesn't really play nice with editing program DaVinci Resolve. Oh well, but maybe you can use it. And those were just a couple of features of KDE Plasma that you might have not known about, but I think for a start it's enough. So if you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. If you want to directly support open source, then you should definitely check out our new online shop as well. Thank you for watching and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.